This is Gus. And I'm Chad. Nice to meet you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode six of Chad and Gus. Nice to meet you. Wait, seven. Six. Six. The sixest of episodes that we can do. Yeah. Six more than we thought we would. No, no. What, there's five, five more? Five, five more than that, that we, <laughs> we would well, do. congratulations, guys. You know, like, you guys are killing the game. If we make it to double digits, you're welcome. Uh, we have today Mr. Anthony Rios of Anthony Rios fame. <laughs> Uh, somewhat regionally renowned as a man of the people and instigator of all things enjoyable. We're going to talk to Very him about... much an instigator, I would say. Uh, yeah, yeah, all right. Well, <laughs> we're going to talk know, to him about... Let's not focus on that, Gus. Um, <laughs> yes, that's right. We're, we're here to help you. <laughs> yeah. I like my introductions to be grandiose. Like a, like grandiose. A you up. Grandiose. Yes, grandiose is the you word. You guys are a lot better than I am. All right, I why wanna, don't you just be quiet and let the adults talk. I want to over talk. <laughs> Say wanna, no more, Poppy. I want to over introduce and then <laughs> hope you meet the threshold of my introduction. Ooh. Rather than under introduce Ooh. and wow the crowd. Ooh. You know? Huh? Ooh. I hope you're ready. Ooh. Anthony right, Rios. Yeah. How long have you been doing? Uh, I'm almost 20 years in the service industry. So you started uh, when you were 10? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. I started when I was 10. In, in Mexico. Yeah. Uh, in Mexico. Early yeah. teens. No, okay. Uh, whatever. So I, I'm almost um, 20 years at this okay. point. Okay. And... Um, I started off, my, my first like industry job was the Stampede Steakhouse, Camp Snoopy. Oh, wow. nice. Yeah. Wow. All yeah. of America, Camp Snoopy? Yeah. Wait, wait, were you Snoopy? born here in Minnesota? No, no, no. Um, huh. I was born in Southfield, uh, a little Camp bit Snoopy's of Flint. Camp Snoopy's not a part of Minnesota. So, so basically where Southfield is, is like a suburb of Flint. Michigan. So Michigan. Yeah. Southfield. I really I, wanted Camp Snoopy to be its own uh, independent city state, where that's where you were from. <laughs> <laughs> and then we moved yeah. over here when I, I was born really in young, Camp Snoopy. I, like I, I stayed here. Okay, like, this is my home. Yeah. Um, these are my right people. Yeah. I, I grew up over by Rice, Maryland. Um, East over, side. Well, ish. East side. North end. <laughs> North end. Yeah, it's fucking <laughs> no. right there. Yeah. Well, it's, it's just like no, that's yeah. awesome. So yeah, so mm -hmm. you were there, at Camp Snoopy. Which yeah. is no more. Which is no more. So I... Taken over by Nickelodeon, right? Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> yeah, you're wrong. You're yeah, wrong. No, so, you're so. wrong. We have hardcore stances here, and <laughs> fuck Nickelodeon is number one. Yeah. I love the Ninja Turtles, but... <laughs> so, so, I... That was my first industry job, right? Real, like, my first actual job, I was working for the Minnesota Honey Producers. I was 15. And I worked at the honeybee stand at the state fair. And I worked for Artie Rub it Jones. in, why don't you? No, no, no. no. Like, no. Artie Johnson, it like, cool. gave me, like... It sounds cool. This really cool... So those are the guys that give the little honey sticks? Yeah, the honey sticks. Yeah. Honey stick people, right? You worked for Big Honey for a while. <laughs> I worked for Big Honey. <laughs> right? So I got to meet all these, like, honey producers. I remember but, my first But it was the work honey. ethic. It was the work ethic. It was, like, everything that kind of, like, went into that... That really like developed who I was, okay. and without them, I wouldn't fucking be here. I'll I'll be quite honest. Okay. Without her guidance, that's and awesome because that's such a and like a humble like a, that's a small start of a thing. That it was it was so introduces small. Introduces you into the I would idea take my of... vacation to work for this uh, yeah. this lady. Nice. And she's still alive. She is. Yeah. Okay. Good. And, she, and she's a little older, but yeah. No, no. I just didn't know. I, like I don't know how long. So I didn't grow up in Minnesota. So. I have no idea. Like the state fair is such a huge, it's amazing, huge yeah. Yeah. thing for it's the crazy. state of Minnesota. So knowing that it didn't even open last year it was a you got state on fair on your that. resume at fifteen. You didn't work anywhere. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> let's, let's be for real. No, no. So Artie Johnson is this crazy, amazing person, and her husband Bruce is just amazing. Okay. And they they really like. They took me, me being a fuckwad, I was a fuckwad, 
Um, they really did like instill like these really great properties that I would have never had. You have a lot going on right now. Yeah. Um, so we are opening up Eagle Street. So who is who is we? Who is we? So it's uh, JP Hospitality, Justin, okay. Patrick. Patrick's from the Monte Cal Group. He owns mm -hmm. that. Obviously, Justin Sutherland, mm -hmm. you know, yep. uh, a fan favorite here in Lower Town. Yep. So I'm working for them, and we are opening up Oxcart for the summer at Eagle Street. And we are ready to go like bang a rang. And this is your first endeavor in terms of uh, opening restaurants, or you've done that before? I, I've done that before. Okay. So uh, previously, I worked for JP Hospitality. That's the uh, hospitality group that they both own. Yep. And I worked for Public. I worked for Oxcart. I worked for The Fitz. Okay. I also did the Green Lantern. And um, that that's what I did before COVID. Um, so that was pre-COVID, and then afterwards, you know, COVID hit, and we had to just kind of revamp what our system was. Well, yeah. let, let's talk. So, let, let's talk about this. You, I actually worked for you. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yes. for a little bit. For a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Full disclosure on this show. Complete transparency. This isn't. Uh, he's not. He doesn't want to hide it. He doesn't want to pretend they know each other. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, no. Listen. There's some. We'll get into the stories later. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Yeah. It's a different maybe. episode. We don't yeah. need. All right. So I've I've worked with Gus um, as yeah. a supervisor as well as an equal. And let me tell you, just like pre Um it's more fun as an equal than as a supervisor working mm. with Gus. Yeah. Um, I would assume that's so, with everyone, actually. I would wait a minute. Him. So you're, saying, <laughs> you're telling There's, me you, you have a great time with me as an equal than a supervisor. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Don't be a supervisor. No. All no, the time. Yeah. Did you? But did you hear a story about uh, helping a guy out and then having his balls in his face and stuff, and then he helped him out? Because... I mean, I'm just gonna take a drink. <laughs> would you rather? Would you, you rather? Said it completely bad. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you don't just go. Did you talk about Gus's? I'm saying so that was a high level of service. Where being your supervisor, I would have been proud of you. And no. as your equal, I would have been clearly like, somebody hasn't no. seen the show. And as no. your equal, I would have been like, Hard dummy. Pass on that one. dummy. Yeah, no. <laughs> so, so you're doing a lot right now. I am. I am. So we're trying to get open. We're looking to open on May first. Uh, we're looking. So at May first for for what place? So for Eagle Street and Oxcart. So and Eagle Street is located on Seventh. Yep. And uh, that's West Seventh, right across the and Eagle Street. Street. E Eagle Street. No. So and Eagle Street. <laughs> wait. No. Yeah. Eagle Street is open on West Seventh. And Eagle Street. And Eagle Street. Yes. No. And Oxcart. Well, but I mean, Eagle Street is on Eagle Street. That's oh, is it? That's that's. I should hope so. That's, Wait, no. That street on the side, the street that you. That's Kellogg. Kellogg swerves the one where you, the one where traffic shoots down. That's Eagle. It's a weird one. Yeah, you're talking about the weird street. The street. That's no. Eagle Street. No. What street is? But that? Eagle Street is not on Eagle Street. It's on Seventh and Eagle. It's on Seventh. Why would it be called? Oh, man. I Google it. Oh, man, Google. it is on. E I. So the street is 174 yep, 7th Street. street. Yeah. What do you mean the address? The other street is Eagle Street. Fine. I'll Man, I swear streets. to God. I swear to God with this show. One of these days with this show. Cross I'm going to fact check beforehand and then I will not have to do it later. Anthony, have you ever opened two restaurants simultaneously, because that seems like the bigger challenge. No, no, I've never opened two simultaneously. I've I've opened quite a bit of restaurants, but I've never done two at the same time. And then also, because- I've never done two at well, the same time either. The uh, These are both restaurants that have been opened. Yes. I would assume previous experience means that you would have opened restaurants not already open like this is a, a reopening a re yeah and then some so sense, yeah it's came back reimagining mm -hmm. if you need to or like you know yeah do you do you expect they will function 
as similar as they used to be, or are you going to try to inject new new things? Well, I think it's a little bit of both, right? Yeah. I, I think at the end of the day, there, there are certain things with these restaurants that they did some things really great, yeah. and there is a lot of potential there, and there's some things that were some shortcomings that we can definitely improve on, yep. right? Um, the restaurants that I've experienced, you have a little bit of both. So you kind of need to play the gambit of what are we keeping, what are we changing, how can we improve it? Yeah. Um, you know, when I when I think about it, right, it's like a, a little triangle. You have ownership, management, right, mm -hmm. and one. You you have your guest experience in the other. Yep. Yeah. Your guest, and then you have your employees, mm -hmm. right? And when you really start looking at this. You need all three. You can't have two. Yes. If I have my guest and my ownership, but my employees aren't happy, yeah. well, you're fucking failing. Yep. If I have my ownership, my employees, and then my guest isn't happy, or don't you're have. fucked. Yep. Yeah, you don't have any fucking guests. Yep. You're fucking failing. Yep. And then if you have your employees and your, your guest, and then you have your ownership, well, you're fucking a loss for fucking income. Yeah. Right? Well, so so, yep. so you need this little like pyramid, this trifecta. So like a pyramid sorts. scheme. <laughs> no, no, definitely not like a pyramid. Oh, scheme. okay. But but you need all three types. Right. Well, obviously, no one's ever going to mesh, right? And I have a program that that works, right? Yeah. That that, that works with the individuals that want to participate yeah. in that program, yeah, right? Sure. And not everyone's going to be the best together. Mm -hmm. Lower Town is really small. And some things just don't fit for each individual. But the, the program that I really try to install is, hey, man, we're here for that little trifecta like I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. Management, right? guest, employees. Exactly. Yep. And if we're not fitting that bill of like, hey, man, I'm not here for the guests. Well, you know, my staff, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, I don't give a fuck if the owner's or losing, blah, blah, blah. Well, you don't have a job. Yeah. As guests come down and see you, or you're talking to somebody that is not working for you, Yeah. do you think that they respect what you do? I, I think where we're at in society, you know, in this, like, day and age, 2021, like, yeah, I, I think so, because that's everywhere, right? Yeah. Everyone's trying to put out this amazing product, this amazing service, you're yep. trying to retain your your customers. If you're not doing it, get the hell out of the game. Yeah. Like you're done. Yep. Right. I, I think at least with my staff when I was kind of mentioning, or the people that I work with, I think they respect me and I respect them because it, it's mutual. We've all worked for these places, we've been in this stream long enough where you work for these places that never let you grow. You don't get to learn. Correct. You don't know what your manager is doing, Yep. right? And right. you're like, hey, I got the time. I want to know how to do payroll. Mm -hmm. I'm so open about that. Oh. And, and the reason why I'm open about that is nice. because at the end of the day, I want to see what the, the future kind of holds. Yeah. If I'm hit by a fucking bus, right, and I need someone to step in like Gus or you, Yeah. I want you to know what my job is. Yeah. Right? I'm not yeah. worried about my job. Yep. If I'm worried about my job, it's time for me to leave. Yeah. Right? And I'm fine with that. Right? That's, that's, a, great, that's, that's a great perspective. Yeah. That's actually very, that's very, you smart. know, that's really what it boils down to. So I am always willing to train and show people if they're interested what I know. Yeah. Right? I, I have my, and, and grow. my, and grow. So I was in the back of the house. Uh, that was my second job in the industry. And after the bee sales. After the <laughs> yeah. honey sales. Well, no, no, I always took my vacation. That was my vacation. Oh, all right. So I would like work my restaurant job, take oh, my okay. vacation to, to go and do that because it was amazing. Yeah. But um, early on I did a post-secondary in culinary. Um, I was five credits away from graduating. And Holy I realized shit. that I hated cooking for other people, so I stopped. <laughs> the only people I'm cooking for is my lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, like, I just want to cook for my people. Want to do yeah, no, it's my matter. people. My friends, I want to cook for my people, you know? I want, I want someone that respects my food. I was working at uh, B-Dubs, 
um, as I was like finishing up school, and I hated. Oh, it's B dubs. That's it. Well, yeah. Well, whatever. It's like Nickelodeon of. So. <laughs> I hated it's like it. Nickelodeon I hated it. of wings. I, and, and I think that that's a huge thing, uh, and a huge role that you're taking on is. You know the front of the house, but you know the back of the house yeah. as well, yeah. which is huge. Yeah. Well, that makes you, I mean, yeah, having any experience puts you ahead of a lot of people in terms of overseeing a restaurant in general. Some people have one or the other, not both. And sure. you've yeah. also attended bar, right? You, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so that's, so I, I was kind of mentioning to Gus earlier, um, he was talking a little bit of shit right before this aired. Oh, he was always talking shit. It's not like right before there. It's literally just a... And I go... I, I, I don't know how to like, talk Honestly, I, I, was, I was on the Dan Patrick show for my old fashion. Um, DP, what's up, baby? Um, I don't even that, know. That was Dan Patrick. People call him? Can, we hash, yeah, I can I hashtag Dan Patrick now? Sweet. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't name know. Drop. Got, name I, drop? No, we're not name dropping. Biggest um, name drop. Biggest name drop on the no, uh, show today. We're going to get Dan Patrick's trail. I don't now. know. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so keep going. Dan so, Patrick, we need you to confirm this story. I don't think it's going to work Has, out the way we want it to work out. Hashtag Dan Patrick. <laughs> hashtag if the do, you, do you know this yeah, man? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so you were saying you were on there. And yeah, yeah. No, so I, I did that and I was on some other things with uh, my buddy Chaz and, you know, um, so you, you guys, you guys literally just. We're on camera showing people what, what to do with drinks. Well, with and, drinks, yeah. So yeah. At, at that point, it was this really funky thing where I like making old fashioned with Henry McKenna, Kirk and Sweeney rum, um, Triviano sugar. I like using. Wait, this is a bourbon rum old fashioned? Yeah. Yes. Oh, blend, eh? Yes. Oh. Yeah, so the sweetness <clears throat> already comes a little bit from the rum. All right. Um, and then realistically, what I really like to do and how I start is I like taking Triviano and I like shaving orange. All right. With a microplane onto that. All right. I don't even want you to tell the specs because I want people to try to figure out what the specs would be. You can tell me later, but I don't want anybody okay. else oh, yeah. to know. And I'm going to make up the recipe in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that As was I've been uh, to do. the drink that I made for him. Right, We had this other old fashioned on menu. Yeah. This is the one I made for him. And, and this for the Dan Patrick. Yeah. Got it. All right. And then I used a, a special cherry. Which is out over again. You guys can figure the fuck out. Um, we'll figure the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Trust me, we're good at research. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, so what I want to do. Yeah, yeah. I know that you haven't been a manager over at Oxford or Eagle Street. Uh, but okay. Yeah. Well, at both at the same time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's been a a bit of um, a lapse. A, a lapse, but at the same time, there's been thousands and thousands of people that oh, have yeah. showed up to both of these restaurants. Yeah, I totally agree. Right. Yeah. And now they're gonna be reopened. Yes. And I feel like what the energy is, is like, oh my God, these restaurants are going to be the exact same as they have been. Sure. Which is sometimes not a bad thing. Well, and some people will want it. Well, yeah. Well, and there's there's some always people... some things, right? Yeah. yeah. So at the end of the day, there's some people that are going to love it or hate it that we change some things. Yeah. You're asking me, um, what are we going to do different, right? Is that where you're getting to? Not yet. Oh, it's that time again. Critique. It's time. Then critique. To review the reviewers. Review. Yelp reviews with. What the fuck? If you're I not... thought we were just talking about the restaurant. We're going into Yelp we... reviews? Yeah. Well, <laughs> all right, all right. Let's we're going to talk about the restaurant. I mean, we'll talk about the restaurant. Sure. The we restaurants will. of old. Here's the thing. Make sure everyone knows these are reviews from when these places were open, right? Yes. These will not reflect the current understanding of what you might experience while you're there. So keep that in mind at the same time. Yeah. We're only going to change the bad parts, not the good parts, right? 
hope so. I hope so. And the only every one star review will be a five star review. <laughs> I think that you threw four fingers out on that last one, but yes, uh, my uh, thumb was uh, tucked. Uh, uh, but yes, <laughs> we. I, I just I just want to read these reviews so I I like you can see what is going on or what the people are talking. And if about. you have not yet read these reviews. You should have. Yeah. You should have. You should be like, oh, that was from Jason. (laughs) (laughs) You mean that one from Jason? I remember that one. I read it. There was a guy named Jason. (laughs) Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, (laughs) 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 Okay. We cut that off. All right. I did not read any reviews, as I do not, nor am not want to do. Okay. For the reviews. So here we go. So, the name of the game is, I read a review, and you tell me how many stars are for... So, we have two restaurants. I'm not going to tell you which restaurant this is coming from. Sure. But as soon as they're like, beautiful, rooftop patio. Have another drink. (laughs) Yes. Actually, yes. And cut. (laughs) (laughs) Meanwhile, back at the studio. (laughs) Yeah. So here we go. All right, all right. Let's I'm, go. I'm gonna read this. I'm 99.9%. Let's rock guessing. and roll. All right. Friendly staff, nice environment to relax with friends. Food, however, not good. I had the Southwest chicken side. No exaggeration. I think the chicken was about a week old. Like, wouldn't chicken be dead and be older than a week old? Anyways, you mean no, well, no, they, no. They I shouldn't have served it if it's a fucking week old. They meant, um, they meant cooked a week ago. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe yeah. I don't. I don't so know. it had clearly been microwave before mm-hmm. it served. Inedible fries were good, though. Mm. Mm. Wait, that's did we the... guess the restaurant, too? Yeah. Ooh. Do we guess yeah, the stars and the restaurant? Get yeah. the restaurant and the stars. All right. Mm. And this is all last year? No, this was actually, um, actually, yeah, this was two years ago. This, this was, was two years, years ago. Two years ago. And now, keep so in mind, keep right. in mind, n- none of these reviews are going to reflect what... You've been working on. No, no, well, yeah. I haven't even opened. Yeah, yeah. no. Um, no These it, are to inform Anthony mm. of what he's contending with in terms of reviewers reviewing your restaurant because you guys still have the same name. If the check with is new less management. than a week old, you're fine. He's gonna. It's already a, an extra star. Yeah, because I know I know your standards, and I know yeah, that you guys yeah. are trying to make it up here. Well, yeah, you know what our standards are. I, I have an amazing yeah. like chef on yeah. staff, which is like no, it's, no. it's going to be great. The thing I'm is, really is fighting against these reviews. Of course, now. yes, moving no. forward, yeah, absolutely, yes. absolutely. You know, there, there's a stigma when it comes to any restaurant that has that fucking review. Uh, which, how many stars do you think that they, they gave? Uh, that's yes, restaurant. Uh, I, I know what I would have given. I, I don't know. That's a that's a that's, that's that. a two maybe uh, one. Well, no, uh, I, that's a three slash two. You think so? And I'm not sure where I want to go. I feel like they were nice enough. They're they were. A, they're a three star crowd. You think so? They were. I think rude. it's a two star crowd. Yeah. Well, I you know it's nice enough to be like, hey, everything else was really great, but the. Yeah. Chicken like tastes no, like shit. I mean, no, that's I'm right in I'm right in yeah, the middle. Yeah. Or if they were the type that wrote uh, in two and a half, I'd be like, that's the right yeah. the two and a half. Or all right, all right, come on, give it to me. Three. Right, so, so we got. Uh, I'm gonna say two. I'm gonna go okay. three, and, and then gonna I'm gonna, gonna go... say that that was also. Well, which location? E... No, that was Oxcart. No way. Yeah. No, yeah, it was Oxcart. That was Oxcart, and it was a three star review. Fuck it. I'm gonna go Oxcart too. And with a two? With a two. It was actually a three star. All right. And it was at Eagle Street. Oh. oh. That was the biggest. That was the harder part. That was the harder part. I had to think about who would actually order food, Oxcart Rooftop. What do they expect? It's a rooftop. All right. All right. I, I initially did right. think Eagle Street. Yeah. But I got three stars right. Yeah, you got three stars right. So he's he's ahead of you right yeah. now. Yeah. All right. Great place in downtown. Nice bartender. Great food. App, kind of small but pricey. Um, it says APT yeah, like an apartment, and I'm like, you don't, you got it. Gus, how app. old are you reading these reviews? This apartment. Uh, this is a year ago. Okay, all right. I just want to like. Oh yeah. Oh, oh you yeah. Know? Because there's a standard throughout. The yeah, no, like there's there's different like. Yeah. All right. So go ahead. 
Great place in downtown. Nice bartender. Great food. Mm-hmm. And uh, kind of small. I'm going to go Ox. Person. I'm going to say Ox Cart on the great bartender angle. I, well, I'm gonna I go guess I've never been. I've been to Eagle Street somewhat. I haven't been there a lot. I, from my experience, they're mostly uh, like they make money because they're close to the Excel. Whether or not they have great bartenders, I don't know. I just know that you'd make money there. Location, location, location. Hey, as long as so you're what doing do we think? As long as you're so doing what do we well. think? So what do we think? What do we uh, think? I'm thinking Oxcart, yep. and I'm thinking it's right around like. Three, four. That's a four star ox yeah. cart review. You've been pretty spot on for the I've, most part, right? I've, I've yeah. only missed one in the entirety of the yeah. bar, like, and yeah. that was. Yeah, but now we have multiple restaurants. Yeah, it's harder. With, with whatever it can be. The harder part is the restaurant sh- choice. And then, but I still think that sounds like it's four star, and, and I want to say it's ox cart. No. It is a five star. Ooh. Ooh. And it is Eagle Street. Really? Oh, my ah! God. <laughs> Completely, Completely wrong. Cool. Completely wrong. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you got me. Um, wow. Yeah. So that's the part. I don't. I've went to Eagle Street. I've lived in St. Paul 15 years. I probably went there like three times. Mostly shit faced. So <laughs> whether or not the bartenders are good, Sounds I don't, right, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Um, it's too right. busy. It's always we a got, place where it's either yeah, lame we, or too right. busy. We got, like, you we know got, what? I we don't got, want either of those. We got two other reviews. Sure. And then they're and not Oxcar. And then, and then, and then, and then <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. I'm pre putting in my Oxcar vote. Please, please go to Oxcar on Saturday nights. <laughs> I'm pre putting in my Oxcar vote. <laughs> you might see somebody you know. Um, okay. Nice view from the patio. Perfect place to hang out on a hot summer day Super and enjoy a nice cold Eagle Street. drink. Food is good to an American style bar scenery. Service is great. Just make sure you get there before the rat before the rush. Fuck me, man. I mean, I'm saying <laughs> fucking yeah. Oxcart, Oxcart doesn't have a patio. It has a rooftop that they're going to consider that Well, no, patio. you consider that patio, right? They could. I don't know. But who calls a patio that's a rooftop a patio? That's a rooftop. That, yeah. You don't what? do that. Okay, you think I'm going to give you guys easy... I'm critiquing the critiquers. Yeah, we're critiquing the critiquers. What do they got? Damn it. I'm going to say they... Eagle Street, and he's going to like pull out some bullshit and be like, yeah. it's Oscar. No. Exactly. <laughs> you know, like, no, I'm exactly going to Eagle Street. Street. I'm going Eagle yeah, Street. Yeah, I'm going Eagle Street. <laughs> yeah. Because you can't go great view. And actually, the patio off the back end of Eagle Street is really nice. Yeah. It's a nice it's view. Awesome. So you say nice view from the patio yeah. means you have a restaurant you don't have a nice view from, or... Whatever, well, yeah. or don't have a restaurant. It, it can work both ways. Like, yeah. yeah. Eagle Street. Yeah, we fucked up, didn't we? Wait, no. I just want to know. So no. Eagle Street. Eagle, Eagle Street. Street. How many stars? Ah, oh, shit. Read, can you read it again? <laughs> I just started. Can you All read right. the question, nice sir? Nicer nice <laughs> from the patio. Perfect place to hang out on a hot summer day. Can you give a definition? And of I word? enjoy ice cold <laughs> drinks. Where can you get ice cold drinks? <laughs> Cold drinks. What's your yeah. mama's house? <laughs> what is your mama's house? <laughs> cold. Those are uh, ice cold lemonades. I though. made fuck it. She'll give me fucking fresh fucking tacos. <laughs> <laughs> ice cold drinks. Micheladas. Micheladas. <laughs> Quesadillas. <laughs> Answer the damn question. <laughs> Tamales. Uh, yeah. Eagle, I can't Eagle wait Street. to go visit your mama, bro. Eagle Street. I feel like they unnecessarily docked a star. I'm going four star Eagle Street. I'm just going to agree with that. I'm want, mostly right. I actually want to say three star Eagle Street. Whatever but, he says. But I'm going I'm four like, star Eagle Street. I'm going three. I'm going three. Did I mention? No. <laughs> no, okay. there's nothing extra. It is actually a five star. And that is the ox cart. Well, it's because it's got a nice patio, because it's all patio. This sucks! <laughs> right? Yeah, it's, it's so hard to confusing. Do. It's hard to do. It's, it's hard with patio. two restaurants, though. It's well, hard yeah. with two restaurants. You guys it's don't all know. patio. All right. Literally, the last... Hey, they have a nice patio, because that's all they have. All right. <laughs> All right, word. All right. If they didn't have a nice yeah. patio, word. All right. <laughs> the view would be terrible. So, literally, all right. Because last... would be me on the street. Last one, and that's it. Yep. All right? Last review. This is all I want. For Yelp. 
Trash. My whole record's in this trash now, so I don't yeah. give a shit. <laughs> yeah, you're like... When I was 100%, I cared. Percent. Yeah. All right. One star. All right, here we go. Wait, is this one star? Here we go. I'm ready. I'm ready. <clears throat> Gus, at the rooftop... <laughs> Hey, wait, you, All right, you found a Got review. This one. You found a review with your own name in it. Nice. I did. Nice. Oh fuck! Right. <laughs> and I'm it's like, yeah. This is totally. A, he's like, he's a, was the greatest human being that I've ever met. Read that for me. He, I don't even want to read it. I don't just read so, it. just I don't so it's legitimately it. not. I don't have my glasses. I don't have my glasses. Just so it's legitimately not me making this up. Gus at the rooftop bar is a rock star. Awesome pub fries, poutine style, and gorgeous views of Gus. No, I had it. <laughs> no, Stopped true. by before a Saints game and had a great time. Highly recommended to hang out with Gus. Thanks. I don't disagree. I also know the star, so I can't guess anymore. I would say. But I would. Give, I would say rooftop. Roof, roof, rooftop. Rooftop. You just roof, said rooftop. Roof, roof, rooftop. This is a guy that roofs for a oh living. Oh my fucking god! Yeah. This is a guy who roof tars hey, for a moment. Hey, ever need a roof? Let me know. He's either on a rooftop serving or on a rooftop serving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rooftop! <laughs> Tell me that's not a legit review. It's a legit review. <laughs> And I mean, you'd know, you wouldn't give a fucking, <laughs> my name's in the review, it's not five stars, you know it's five stars. And now, Chad and Gus, nice to meet you, presents Stories. I'm there with my friend, we're having a drink, and she's playing like Pokemon Go. Um, and I, I find it super weird at the time, that, that's like, Fucking still thing. Wait, while she's applying? No, no, no. Oh. It's just my friend. Oh, okay. Like, we're having a drink. She, we go out for a cigarette. She's playing, like, Pokemon Go. And this dude walks up. This random fucking dude. And he has, like, X, like Xbox, like, headphones on. And he's just like, can I bum a cigarette? And she's like, sure. They realize that they're both playing like Pokemon Go. And it's this like really awkward thing where now I'm like the third wheel. All right. And we go back in the bar and the guy is like, hey man, I don't, I don't have money for beer. And I was like, <laughs> it's dope. Like, don't worry, like order a beer, order a drink. Mm -hmm. It's on me. Wow, you're a nice guy. Yeah, fucking sometimes. Uh, <laughs> when I have a moment. <laughs> when I have a moment. So they they have the strength. They're like doing whatever the fuck is on Pokemon like Go. So so they're doing this thing, and in between, we're having the like these conversations, right? And I'm like, where do you work? What do you do? Who the fuck are you? Yeah. I just bought you like your drink. Yeah. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. And he goes, I work down in Lower Town. I make like 12 bucks an hour. I hate my job. I fucking hate everything. And I go, dope. I need a host. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, I need a fucking host. <laughs> and I go, um, I'll pay you 15 bucks an hour right now. And he goes, you for real? And she fucking turns to him so fucking fast. He wasn't fucking for real. He wouldn't even fucking ask you. <laughs> Yo. Awesome. Yeah. I don't even know who that is. Yeah. But like, yeah. that's the greatest, like, you should know people like that. Or like, <laughs> he's not fuck. He wouldn't fuck with you. He wouldn't like, fuck yeah. with you. He wouldn't fuck with you. No one, he wouldn't even suggest this if he's not fucking, like, he's not fucking with you. Like, that, that's a great yeah. person to know. Yeah, I, I tell him. You don't even have to handle your own business then. So I you know, tell him, I Do go, I look like the man who repeats myself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. And I go, I need a host. I need, like, my host is like tomorrow. Tomorrow. Why go so high? You could have given him, like, 14 that he would have taken. Oh, yeah, well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, right? it doesn't. It's, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's yeah. If you have to stand up and offering everyone, then yeah. offer it to a kid. Yeah. All right. No, no, I like don't this. offer it. No, I like this. All right, yeah. don't. All right. So, the next day, I tell him, well, right before I leave, I go, 
I'm gonna fucking dip out. I just paid the tab. I'll fucking see you, or I won't see you. I get zero bucks, right? Mm -hmm. Either I paid for your fucking beer, or you have a fucking job. Mm -hmm. I need you to start at four o'clock, and if you're not there, go fuck yourself, mm -hmm. right? That's what I tell the kid. I wish I would take dates like that. Like if I were to talk to a girl, I'm like, by the way, <laughs> I, 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 all right, look. Either I'm going to be I, here, I, it's 7 o'clock and you're there. <laughs> and if you're not, go fuck yourself. But it would have been on me. So so she tells him. God, I should try that one day. You know, like, hey, man, if he wasn't really asking, he, he wouldn't have asked. Right. And if you didn't want to do it, say so you don't want to do it. Right. But at the end of the day, he's offering you a gig. Right? So the fucking very next day, this kid fucking shows up at fucking 3 o'clock. An hour before. An hour before. So he wants to get paid That's an extra awesome. hour. No, it's not awesome because you got to pay him an extra hour now. No, no. no that really showed that he was in, totally like, yep, nope, taking you up on this. And yeah, I'm yeah. He was like, else. Cheryl fucks good, man. I'm here. All right. And this fucking cat was the best fucking host I've ever had. Awesome. Uh, I mean, like, legit. This cat yeah. was fucking amazing. So you take him up. So, yeah, yeah no. Right he shows up at fucking 3 o'clock, and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, I'm chilling. And I go, for what? He goes, the, the job that I started for. Um, I'll be know, I'll be I here. like that. No. I'll, I'll be right here. You just let that me is, know whenever you need me. That is enthusiasm. I mean, the, the dude that was is. so fucking chill. And he was fucking amazing, right? So I had him on staff for a long time. And he was just like, I don't care. We'll do whatever we need to do, whatever you need. And I'm like, yo, dude, your name is money. Like, you're here for the money. I get that. Like, you're Wait, amazing. His, you're his amazing. Name, his yeah. name was money? I called him um, blank money. Yeah. Cash money. Yeah. Sure. But but you can, in terms of the fact that... I need to be called you... cash cocaine because eventually <laughs> I need people to give me cash for coke. <laughs> this dude no, was no, so no. legit. Just cocaine. Just this cash. dude was so legit. Blank cocaine. I can't believe like, no, but that's awesome. what yeah. like, his dedication was and what he tried to do. No, I think that's This great. dude was fucking on point all the time. I would give him a call and I'd be like, yo, I need you at this location or that location. Yeah. He'd be well, like, you know what's great about that is that I've actually... I've been a very experienced person in terms of a lot of jobs I've applied for where the experience isn't on my resume. If anyone wanted to give me a chance, they would have been like, super glad to hire you. Mm. But in terms of my resume, meh, I don't know. We're not even going to... It, it might not, not look as exciting. We're not going to give you a chance. Yeah. And so you gave him a chance. I was without, just the weirdest fucking thing. I'm the weirdest fucking thing. Without, 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 without this dude... Yeah. Would fucking outshine everyone else. Yeah, but I and think he'd just be like, uh, "Yeah, my name's Blank Money." That's what, how we would approach it, right? Yeah, wow. Blank yeah. Money. Yeah, and he'd be like, "I don't give a fuck about you. I'm here to do what? Make my money." Yeah, and I'd be like, "Oh man." Yeah, and what do you want me to do for money? Host these Suck people. Dicks. I'll host the shit out of these people. Oh, I'm gonna the host shit. the shit out of these people. I'm gonna, Dude was a I'm gonna fucking run shit. G. I'm gonna run shit. I'm right. gonna make sure they like, sit down. I don't wanna like give out his They're name gonna... if I don't have yeah. to. But no, no, yeah, that's the thing. You know, you like, if you have, if you want to give him a shout out, you can. I'm I love Eddie Money. 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 You are the fucking man. Eddie I Money. I have no idea who you are. Like, hope he's still doing well. It was the best fucking story because it was so fucking random. You're playing Pokemon Go, and really, all it boiled down to is me being like, well, you fucking hate your job. I need a host. You want to come in? Yeah. yeah. I want to make that fucking money. Yep. And, and, go, there's, and there's a lot of Eddie money's out there. That's what I was saying. And that's what he did. Yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. That's what he did. He goes, I want to make that like fucking that. money. There's and I go, like 
you're Eddie Money. Yeah. I fucking love you. There is boom, a, boom, boom. There is we'll a lot of Eddie Money's you know? that want to work. Good on the you, the specific Eddie Money and all the other quote unquote Eddie Money's out there. There's a there's a spot for you. People are waiting for you and looking for you. You just gotta well, go, like, you gotta go out and get it though. I, yeah, I literally right? called the suit. I called the suit when reopening. And I go, Eddie, right? Eddie, I fucking need you. Where you at? I fucking called him. And he was like, disconnected. <laughs> well, no Eddie. Well, and I go, Eddie. There's still no, Eddie, but no money. If you money. figure it yeah. out, like, Maybe. fucking hit me up because yeah. you are the fucking man. Yeah. Yep. You are the fucking dude. Eddie, not so much money right now. I love how I met you. I love that fucking story. Like, nope. it is the I fucking... love that story too. That's a great story. I'm glad that you went there. We have, I mean, yeah. it's sometimes fun. You get the disparaging stories, the ones that present a whatever conflict. That was not a conflict. That was actually an uplifting story that is also about how the restaurant industry yeah. should work. And I think that's, that's a great addition to the show. These stories have been brought to you by Chad and Gus. Nice to meet you. Story. What we have is literally no. just the end of the show. Yeah. This is it. We're going to yeah. wrap it up. We don't have any, we didn't have a thing from last week. We don't have any winners for this week. We don't have any contests. We don't have any. Unless Anthony decides that he wants to give any a night, gift card. To... Any night you show up uh, to Oxcar while Gus is working there, you get a high five from Gus. Well, well tell me what the, the deal is. Here's no, it's, it, no it, it's, it, so typically we do a gift card, uh, which is... Be typically from twenty to twenty five dollars so. for any of the restaurants that anyone uh, who comments, likes, shares this episode. We all sound desperate as fuck. <laughs> it's the only show we got. It's the only show we got. Yeah. It's all we got. It's all we have. You, you want to do consider you, you, consider this. liking, supporting, and and uh, commenting below. I'm Chad, <laughs> and, and this is Gus. We are nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> please, please help. Here's the deal. Um, I'm going to throw out there a gift card for everyone, and they're going to figure out. Yes. If you like, and you, if you've already subscribed, that's fine. Leave a comment and share this show with someone you love. You'll get a $25 gift card to Oxcard. Uh, Oxcard, Oxcard and Oxcard or so, so either way. So, so yeah. So Oxcard or you. So I'll figure it out with whoever yeah. wins. Yes, um, And, you know, at the end of the day, thank you for subscribing and liking. I really appreciate you tuning in. And thank you so much for your time. Um, Gus, obviously... Pinche <laughs> puto, um, and and Chad, I can't do that to him. I'm like, yeah, I I have, I have issues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been so, this is my happened. studio. I'll knock people out. It's my studio too. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so thank you guys for subscribing, tuning in tonight, and tuning in tonight. Thank you, to Anthony, for joining us today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, thank you so much. I I hope to be on the air again. Uh, thank you. Um, thank I you, guys. Really appreciate it. And, and remember, then, this is Gus. And I'm Chad. And we got Anthony Reels right here. <laughs> this is not how we planned it. No! no I, I forgot! I forgot! I forgot! We forgot! No! Oh, my God! <laughs> and that's how we end the show. <laughs> Remember when we first started it? How we and, you said, and you we said, really all right, cool. There's well, so I've much time this. to set it up. There's so much time to set it up. Yeah. We so tried. terrible. We tried. We it's tried. Terrible. And you were like, I just started slapping Gus at the end. I'm just like, what's up, puto? We should have discussed that. That would have been easier. Um. T. <laughs> timing out? Is this a timer yeah. out? Should I face this? You can't, you can't just go. <laughs> well, no, I, ha I have to ask a question. And I'm no, you're going to ask the question. question. No, I want to make sure it's T. <laughs> <laughs> Parentheses. T. <laughs> What's the question? <laughs> no, it's just T. Like, it's all tea. right, so on it's your tea question. time. It's, yeah. Bing. Bing. <laughs>
Um, Everything you say between the beans will not be included, <laughs> and or will be included whether or not I choose to. It is an editorial <laughs> discretion. So, damn it, that's <laughs> now what we agreed on. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Time's out. <laughs> time's out. Oh, what tea? Oh, what tea? I'm going to go back. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. You ran out of time out. 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 Time you mean this time I murdered that man? <laughs> <laughs> you mean the time I murdered that man and he had a passion, buried him out back? <laughs> like, oh, what? Oh, Grew shit. lavender shit. on his grave and then <laughs> used it for a cocktail? <laughs> <laughs> for a nice lemonade drink? <laughs> Virgin lemonade at that. Because he was dead yeah. at 15. <laughs> I celebrated his death in my heart, not with drinks. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> then I got to turn everything black and white. I don't, yeah, I don't, <laughs> Everything's got to go black and white. And like, I, don't, dun, dun, dun. I don't think he was ready for some of the stuff we were getting. <laughs>